Hey, I'm Anya, and I'm a high schooler here at Bethel. Today we're checking out Matthew 5, 9 through 12, which I actually got the chance to speak on a few weeks ago at Bethel's high school ministry. These verses call us to be peacemakers and tell of the persecution that can come along with it. As I read and researched this passage, a repeated thought that I saw both in the Bible and in everyday life is the idea that peacemaking is stepping into conflict surrounding us, seeking to right wrongs and create glory out of the chaos. Building on the last few Beatitudes, hoping to see the world made right requires participation, assuming Jesus is kind and generous mercy. Oftentimes, I think we can fall into peacekeeping, a perfectly human response. We can avoid conflict altogether and stay stagnant in our potentially damaging relationships. Driven by other people's opinions of us, as well as our hidden feelings and assumptions about others' actions, we can opt for the fake solution of silence. I know I often try to steer clear of any direct conversations about issues amongst my friends. Why would I want to bring it up if I can leave it alone and sit it out? We live in this illusion of peacemaking, blind to a lack of realness. While looking a little more at the origins of peacemaking in the Bible, I found the Greek word arene poias. Arene meaning peace and poias meaning to make or to do. Peace doers, implying that peace is something we actively have to create. Easier said than done, peacemaking is a hard thing to do. So many obstacles can get in our way of problem solving from struggles and self-confidence to hurt from others, making it difficult to stay in the heart of Jesus and his goals for resolution. However, this resistance to peacemaking doesn't mean that we've failed or that God isn't with us. Jesus even prefaces this at several points in the Bible, one being in Matthew 24, 9 through 10, saying, then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. As Christians, we're to expect that when we stand firm in our faith, it goes against the patterns of the world, making it feel like we're being attacked. Is this really living the good life like stated in the Beatitudes? Finding strength in Jesus, we're to take joy in the trials. After all, Jesus had the same experience. Even though he was constantly questioned and beaten down for his values and authority, he chose to defend his stance and carry on. We're promised that by making peace on earth, we're choosing to invest in the new creation, heaven with Jesus, which lasts forever. Not earthly bodies or roles, but those that we find in our heavenly lives. Keeping an open heart to Jesus' teachings can help us make more well-thought-out choices, giving us greater understanding of what it means to make peace for the glory of the coming kingdom. Where can you be a peacemaker in your own life? And how could our environments be changed by a shift in our ways of handling conflict? Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.